Hey guys, for some of this video, I'm going to review the C-ROM and 4.4.4 KitKat uh, custom ROM for the Galaxy S2 GDN9100, as you can see. So, uh, it's based on the latest 4.4.4, uh, and it brings you the blazingly fast uh, and 4.4.4 experience with no lag. And with C-ROM, you can also install uh, the Google camera. After installing this ROM, you know, you can download it from the Play Store. Uh, so you will have two cameras working uh, you will get all some some of the features from the Nexus 5 like blur and all kind of stuff in the newest camera now CROM has a lot of features actually uh, it comes uh, with a power menu customization it comes with driving mode it comes with custom animation shake events it comes with LCD density changer status bar customization pie controls Omni switch, battery saver mode, even more stuff that you can imagine. Now, uh, it also has a, a full floating multi window, which works uh, better than the Samsung's multi window, as what I have been using. Uh, so, as you can see, it works pretty cool. Now, we have all new theme engine over here. As you can see, I'm already using a theme and um, this ROM. So, we have this settings. Now, uh, first, the basic stuff like camera browser and everything is working there's no problem in basic stuff so uh, let's check out some extra good stuff here we have uh, so we have the C tool now the C tool gives you the options the extra options extra features of this ROM here uh, first we have interface now in interface you have power menu driving mode and you know, things that I've explained earlier recent tabs shake event and LCD density now moving on to the status bar you can change the status bar here uh, like battery icon you can change it to you know change the color uh, to blue whatever color you want As you can see now it's internal is blue and you can also change the battery icon percentage daughter circle as you can see so uh, there's a bunch of options here we have some notification drawer options moving on to the lock screen you can also change the style here appearance of lock screen colors and a lot of options lock color dark colors you know this stuff over here you can change the color of this stuff here like the dots color so moving down to the navigation now the navigation you can enable the navigation bar here and you can also try out some hardware buttons you can set some custom uh, things uh, by using this hardware buttons custom uh, commands now moving on to the pi control you can enable the pi controls as you can see they give you some pi controls here trigger options here now we have the slide slide bar tab app circle bar you can enable it and then you will get this over here now moving on to the mix tab. Now the mix tab here have this uh, battery saver option I'll be talking about earlier. So you know you can set a time for this battery saver. You can you can turn it on uh, if the battery is low. So currently my device is on uh, battery saving mode because my battery is about like almost dying. It is 12 percent. So also this ROM also comes with system app remover you can remove any system app you want camera or uh, browser all kind of stuff you can also use Omni switch if you don't like this uh, multitasking recent stuff over here now uh, one of the best things with this ROM is uh, that I like this feature is also you know available in all other ROMs but you know the themes now uh, with the Android 4.4.4 the Android is evolving and you know constantly improving so with Android 4.4.4 we have some little better theme engine with all new theme engine over here uh, now you can apply themes uh, which can even change your boot animation your messaging your text your keyboard your lock screen I mean everything now I've been using combination of three themes over here this is HG style if you want to make style theme over here then we have some uh, red style theme here working on the uh, the quick settings here and also in the in the as you can see the play store is red uh, now it's actually a combination of three themes three themes I've been using and it's only possible with this all new theme engine 
Now you cannot use the uh, uh, you can say you cannot use the uh, overclockable kernel with this ROM, which is uh, the um, Dormex kernel, because uh, I'm not sure why it's not working with you know not this ROM or not AICP ROM, uh, but you know uh, the, uh, the your phone will uh, perform well even without the Dormex kernel. You don't need Dormex kernel. However, you can still downclock or change the governor of your device. Uh, over here, we have some settings. Actually, uh, you have a lot of settings over here. You can also change the I/O schedule here. You can apply it on boot. Now, you have a lot of options. With you have the dark serum. You can enable it. You have some black settings. I can turn it off. So. Yes, this is my full review over here of the C-ROM and 4.4.4 KitKat for the Galaxy S2. And if you want to know how to install this ROM on your Galaxy S2, you can just uh, visit the link in the description. I have a full tutorial uh, for this ROM on my channel, and the links are uh, available in that video's description. So yes, peace out, and I'll see you next one. Peace.